Okay, so here is the catalyst of creative inspiration for the Speed Square. Um, the smallest and maybe most out there being designed in a long time. And um, this is the first board I surfed, really. You know, I, I think for a lot of people, this was like their first surfboard. And, and really, the whole objective of making the Speed Square, it was just to have fun. I initially was, you know, nervous about the project. Essentially, we had to change some elements of the board, but keep a, most of the elements. The outline is similar. The tail um, detail is very similar um, with the bevel. And we basically had to change the rails. We put a concave in it to make it go faster. And we put some fins on it, um, so it's not finless anymore and they're fairly short keel fins like you'd find on a fish. The great thing about the fins and the overall rail concept and is basically you're riding like a finless board but you can completely sink rail and turn and figure eight and um, it reminds me of the Mach 7X when I was a kid like just surfing all day and being pumped and going really, really, really fast. Behind the Elias, it's the second fastest board of my life so speed square is. The next board here is the Dharma. Its name is derived off the original being the good karma. And it kind of just tried to make a modern um, little eggy fish type board that still has progressive nuances with uh, a quad setup. So you have speed, nice down rails with um, kind of a concave deck line. And it basically paddles like a long board, surfs like a short board, and goes faster than you'd ever want to go on a wave. Yeah, it's like a fish, um, but the good thing is the tail is flatter, squared off more, so it, it is, it's a snappier turn, uh, more responsive, so it's a nice blend between um, a fish, I guess, and a, and a modern shortboard. Very user-friendly. Yeah, is... everybody likes it that gets on it. <laughs> it's running for president. It is. <laughs> This is the Spork. It's a round pin quad, and the overall concept with this board was to make a high-performance surfboard that still had the speed and glide of an alternative board. So just a little wider outline, similar volume, nice pinched rails, good, good little pulled-in round pin, and um, pretty progressive concave on the bottom. Yeah, like a modern alternative to a conventional trifin that has a lot more speed and I have seen Chris do everything he can was doing on a trifin previously he could do on this. Yeah, and, I, think, uh, I think anyone can. Yeah, it's anybody can. It's just like a yeah. real user-friendly board that turns as hard as you would ever want a thruster to turn, which is the, the biggest. That's what makes me so stoked about this board. Yeah. I've never had a quad where I can push as hard as a thruster and uh, get you know the same feedback. Drive.